Hello guys, it's a Saturday afternoon and it is raining outside. Uh, good time to come in here to make some good old spaghetti and meatballs. Now, I'm going to start off by making the meatballs in here in this bowl. Now you would want to have a pretty large bowl. It uh, just depends on how many meatballs that you want to make. Now in here I have two pounds of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey. Now sometimes I use uh, ground pork, but this time I'm using ground turkey. And to this I'm going to add three eggs. Now I don't measure anything, I just take a guess and, and if you want to measure it's totally up to you. I'm going to add some salt, quite a bit of salt because it's going to make a whole lot of meatballs. And I'm going to start off with some Italian seasoning. Just use your judgment. Depends on how uh, seasoned you like your meatballs. I got some garlic powder. Some onion powder. I'm going to come in and add some Parmesan cheese. Then I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that you have clean hands. I tell you, I love making meatballs. Now, what I did, I took some bread. Now this is probably a half a loaf to almost a loaf of bread. And I, I crumbled it up and I soaked it in some milk and then I crumbled it up some more. Now the whole thing is going to come in there. Come in the bowl. I know that this is a whole bunch, but it will feed a lot of people. I say I probably get about 30 to 40 meatballs. And I've got some dry bread crumbs I'm going to put in here. And it will help keep the meatballs together. Let's go out of the way. Now, I'm going to come in here and just make sure that it is well combined. You want to make sure that it is combined very, very well. Make sure that the fresh bread crumbs and the dry bread crumbs are well incorporated. Make sure that all of your spices are well incorporated. It looks like that everything is about ready to be rolled into meatballs. You can tell that this is going to make a whole bunch because I like making food for other people. Now, I got my pan here. It is lined with parchment paper. And what you want to do, you just want to uh, brush it with some vegetable oil. If you have olive oil, that's fine. And just come and get you uh, some of the mixture a little bit at a time. And you probably want to form about the size of a golf ball and put it on your baking pan or your baking sheet, whatever that you're using. Now I'm going to make the rest of these meatballs and stay tuned for the finished product. 